This video presents a quick overview of an image-based mutual authentication solution from Confident Technologies that prevents phishing and fraud during website logins. Some websites today, like online banking sites and webmail providers, display an image of the user's choice during the login. The purpose of this image is to assure the user that they are on the legitimate website before they type in their password on the web page. This is to prevent the user from being tricked into entering their password on a spoofed website, also known as a phishing site. There are a few problems with this approach. First, the image shown never changes. It is the same image for every login session. So most people simply stop paying attention to it and enter their password on the website whether the correct picture is showing or not. The fact that it's static also makes the picture relatively easy for a cyber criminal to spoof if they wanted to target an individual. Second, the picture is simply meant to make the user feel better by knowing that they are on the real website, but it doesn't actually authenticate the user's identity to the website. There is a better solution. Confident Image Shield for anti-phishing is a dynamic, image-based authentication solution that provides mutual authentication, allowing the user to know that they are on the real website and at the same time allowing the website to authenticate the user's identity. Here's how it works. The first time a user registers on a website, they establish a username and password, just as they normally do. They're also going to select a few categories of images that they can easily remember. For the sake of this short demo, we're going to keep it to just three categories. I'm going to select dogs, flowers, and for my third category, I'll select cars. Now, it's important to remember your secret categories of images. So as the user, I'm going to take a moment now to make associations with them to help me remember them. Dogs, flowers, and cars are all things that I really like, so they will be easy for me to remember. Now let's practice identifying my secret categories on the Confident Image Shield. In this instance, the dog is in the upper right with the letter C, the flower is in the lower left with the letter Y, and the car is in the upper left with the letter K. Before we proceed, let's practice finding my secret image categories one more time. Now this time, you'll notice that the specific images, their location on the grid, and the alphanumeric characters that appear in the images have all changed, but my categories will always remain the same. In this way, Confident Image Shield creates a one-time passcode that is different each time authentication is needed. I will always look for the images that fit my categories. This time, the dog is in the lower left with the letter K, the flowers are in the lower right with the letter V, and the car is above it with the letter R. Now let's see how this would be used as an anti-phishing tool on a website. This represents an online payment site. As the user, I'm going to log into my account by entering my username. The next step is the mutual authentication using Confident Image Shield. I know that I'm on the real website and not a phishing site because a spoofed website would not be able to display an image shield that correctly includes my secret categories. This step also allows me to authenticate my identity to the website by proving that I know my secret categories. In this case, the dog is in the middle with the letter V, the flowers are at the top with the letter D, and the car is in the lower right with the letter N. Now that I've successfully authenticated with the Confident Image Shield, I'm allowed to enter my password as a second form of authentication. By placing Confident Image Shield before the password in the login process, the user is prevented from ever entering their password onto a spoofed website. More importantly, it provides mutual authentication and adds a one-time password to the login, making the login secure even if the user chose a weak password or uses the same username and password on another website. Additionally, because the Confident Image Shield is dynamic and changes every time, the user must engage with it and take an active role in the strong security and authentication requirements on the website. Let's take a look at it one more time. First, I enter my username on the website. Next, I authenticate by identifying my secret categories from the Confident Image Shield. 
This time the dog is in the bottom center with the letter S, the flower is to the left of it with the letter O, and the car is to the right of it with the letter D. The second form of authentication is to enter my password. And now I have successfully logged in to my online account. As the user, I can feel secure knowing that I am not on a phishing site, and the website is protected by two layers of authentication. To learn more about image-based authentication from Confident Technologies and how it can be used for anti-phishing, password reset, one-time passwords, and other authentication methods, visit www.confidenttechnologies.com.